Hi everyone, welcome to today's Express Movement Challenge for the month of January. And today we are going to focus on a little bit of whole body. So there's going to be an upper body exercise, there's going to be a lower body exercise, a little bit of balance I'm going to put in there, and we're going to finish with some core exercises. But today is going to be a little bit different. So throughout this whole series, the last few weeks, I've been doing three exercises three times through. But we're going to do two exercises twice through now, and then we're going to do two exercises on the ground. Um, and then that's pretty much like your 12 to 15 minutes of movement today. But you will need a little bit of equipment as an option. So grab hold of your water bottles, grab hold of um, some weights, anything that you can use to do a little bit of assistance today. Don't worry or be put off if you haven't got equipment. You can use your body weight. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're just going to start marching on the spot. So we're going to start a little bit more of an upbeat today and then we're going to slow it down towards the end so get these arms moving get the knees up slightly in front and then walk the legs wide for a few steps walk the legs in as we inhale lift up the shoulders roll them back but keep marching three rotations roll the shoulders forward And then take the legs wide, bring the legs in. We're going to come forward for a high knee with a rotation out with the leg from the hip, come down and change. So it's going to be one, two, three, up and over, one, two, three, and up, and just keep that going. So we're going to start with a bit of balance as we open the hip, try and have the hip bones forwards. That's it, you see I'm just stepping forwards, open, step back. Open. We're going to go four more of these. And change. Change. Okay. Take those legs wide. Shift the body weight over to one side. Let's go for an inner thigh stretch. We are going to be starting today with some side lunges. So we're just going to stretch into it. Now come up. Shift the body weight over to the other side. Push your body weight back into the heels to get that stretch. Push your body up, come down. Take the hand down if it can get there. Make sure the knees are bent and open up to the side. Come up, shift the body weight over. Take the hand down if it will get there. Don't worry if not. We're going to do these stretches at the end of our two workouts. So you might find as you move more, into this move, like this um, movement, if that makes sense, you uh, will become a bit more open in the body. Okay, come up. Now, take legs back, roll shoulders back, take one leg forward, one leg back, and we're going to rock forward and back, toes to heels. We're now going to punch across, and I'm going to lift up the heel on the back leg and twist through the side body. And step forward with the back leg, step back with that forward leg, and again, just the same on the other side. So the second exercise today is going to be punching, and you can do this without a weight. I am going to use some little bit of a resistance today for this. Okay, right, there's our beeper to get going. So grab whatever weight you're using, if you are. We're going to start with our side lunges, alternating side lunges. First 50 seconds. We've got 10 seconds rest. We're going to go straight into punches. We're doing this twice through. Okay, so first of all, step out to side. Take one weight to the side, one weight center. We're going to be here. Come up, other side. And then keep that going. So we just feel that weight go central down, keeping the chest high. I'm almost doing a bit of a swing with this middle weight. So we're going to be here, front raise. There you go. Down and front. Let's work the shoulders. Ten seconds to go. And 
and then come to a stand. Take one foot forward, one foot back. We are going to do both sides. Now pull the belly button in, lift the shoulders up, weights to collarbone. We're going to punch, twist through the back hip, through that back leg. Think about the waist doing the work. Okay, keep going for five, four, three, two, change side. Let's make sure we're even, let's go. 20 seconds on this side. 10 seconds to get into position for your side lunges. Think about you've got a corset on, we're tucking in through the waist. Five, four, three, two, one. Now with these side lunges, wait 10 seconds before you go, have your rest, side lunge, high knee, take it down, then we're going to go the other side, okay? Okay, so we're going to go side, balance, high knee, take it down, other side, here, balance. And now we can use the upper body for a bit of a bicep curl. Push, high knee. The workout that I scheduled before today, we done a lot of sumo squats to work these inner thighs. And today we're doing our side lunges. So it must be an unintentional theme of the week. 10 seconds to go, keep up the tempo. One more each leg. Okay, we're going to add some hooks in, one leg forward, one leg back, same as before, keep contracted through the stomach, now squeeze your bum, to keep these glutes activated, let's go, four punches forward, then we're going to go high elbow, high elbow for two, one, two, three, four, hook, hook, one, two, three, four, Okay, change position with the lower body. One, two, three, four, hook, hook. And you can just move those legs, however feels good. So as I go through with that hook, front leg, I'm gonna just let that hip come forward and squeeze my bum. One more set, one, two, three, four, hook, hook. Okay, keep the weights close by, because we are gonna use them down the floor. Take one leg out, hold a side stretch, and now just see if you can get that hand down and twist a little bit more into that position. Hopefully you can. Or if you can't get the hand down, it's just a little bit closer to the floor. Change side. And now walk your feet in, and then make your way down to the floor for our abs. Okay, so now we're down here on the floor. I'm just going to demo the two exercises we're going to do twice through. First one is going to be plank on hands. Come down to the knees, first of all. Shift the body weight forward. Tuck the tailbone under. We're going to hold this position and see how it feels to lift one hand up, tap shoulder, and then tap, tap, and tap. We're going to do that for the first round. Second round, we'll get you to hold your weight, and we're going to bring the weight up to the side. And then for the second exercise, we're going to be laying on our back, but I'll show you that when we get there. Okay, so onto the front, hands down, chest over, and then we're going to go opposite hands to shoulder. Try and limit the wobble through that lower back. Now, depending on your level of what you're doing with uh, your planks and where you are, you can stay static. Take out the side to side, just go for the half. Or if you want to come up, you can do your alternate shoulder taps when you're up. If that's too much for the wrist, stay down. But do not let that body wobble. 15 seconds, squeeze your bum. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Roll onto your back, grab both of your hand weights. Bring the knees up to 90 degrees, make sure lower back's into the ground, weights are up above chest. Going to go chest press. So take the elbows to the ground, come up, take one leg away, one leg in. Chest press, up, change leg and keep that going. Chest press, single leg lower. Making sure that lower back isn't arching. Neck is long. Three, two, go for your last set. And then rest. Come back onto your front. Now I'm gonna hold the weight and go for plank rows. So onto the knees, hold one weight, dip the hips, bring the weight up, change side. You see I'm limiting the rotation through the lower body. And again, if that's far too easy for you and you wanna progress as you go on and you're, or you're gonna come back to this workout, by all means, go for the plank row. But remember, it's your body. Go by how you're feeling today. 10 seconds, stay with this. If you're up in your full plank doing this, drop to the knees if you need to. If your bum's in the air, come down. And now, last time. Onto the back. Knees up. Weights above chest, take the elbows to the floor, come up, extend all the way, open through the hip, down to chest press, open. Make sure you're breathing, do not hold your breath. Few more reps to go, we just got about four to go. This is one, two, last one. And then place those weights down just to the side. Hug those knees in, have a little shake side to side of the lower back. Now let the arms come out into a cactus shape. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, let the knees go all the way over to one side. Now let the shoulder lift and then open up for the chest stretch. Breathing in, exhale, relax. And if you're here and you want to extend the stretch through the lower back and hip, this top leg you can just straighten slightly and just increase that stretch through lower back. Another express workout done, well done everyone. Hope that set you up for the day. When you're ready, come up. Inhale when you're on your back. Exhale as you twist. And get that stretch. Lift up and then stretch out the shoulder. And relax. Adjust that back, the top leg, sorry. If you want to go there, straighten out that leg. And there was our final beat to say time is done. Well done everyone. Like I say, another workout complete. I will be bringing this week, week number three, another workout for you. And then we are going to do a little bit of upper body stretching. So look out for that work, that little workout stroke mobility flow that I'll be uh, introducing to you for the start of week number four. 
you enjoyed this as always give it a like make sure you subscribe and then share it with anyone who it may be of help to um, obviously any questions let me know I have got a little podcast that's out as well over on Spotify and iTunes refreshing habits with Donna so go and check that out for a little bit more of a talk and conversation with me all about health and well-being have an amazing day and I'll speak to you all soon